Happy Mercury Day, Collective. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're returning. This is the Pisces High Priestess. You guys can call me Siren. We're going to get into this timeless channel planetary message for Mercury Day and its connection to the throat chakra. Um, communicating. I feel like um, a lot of y'all, you could be about to have a conversation. Or, um, I feel like the conversation kicks off with a loved one and the conversation actually uh um it gives you a different outlook on this person or uh, the conversation is going to give them a different outlook on you but it's going to give y'all a different outlook and then also I'm, what i'm kind of getting today is that um love finds you when you realize that love never left you Love never left you. You are love. Okay, let's see. A lot of work being done behind the scenes on your behalf. See, yeah, there's a lot of speak speaking, a lot of talk. Um, again, I feel like uh, other people know how somebody feels about you more than you know. And other people know how serious a situation is more than what you know. I feel like it's um, your turn to be the one to get this communication, your turn to find out um, what this means. So someone is trying to figure out how to express themselves um, in a way that you can actually really um, fully understand them. But it's going to be hard to, for this person to do this with just words. Or it's easier for them to do this with some something else. They could, uh, maybe they write something to you. They write you a note, leave you a note. Or this is someone who likes to leave notes. Why is there no? There's like, y'all, yeah, there's like really not a lot of communication coming out. Why is that? If I don't like this video, I'm not going to post it. Like, come on now. Um... Yeah, somebody wants something to be perfect. I also feel like you bring a lot of jewelry. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna post this video. I don't think I'm gonna post this video. This is a weak video, y'all. What the hell? weak this is weak this is so weak let me just try to get this over with this is weak Why do I feel like this? Uh, is this the energy of the reading? I just don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, the four cups. Uh, so maybe somebody they don't want to communicate. They they kind of wish that you just knew or understood. I guess, but. I feel like if they were to say something one time, then you'll get it and they, they won't have to do it again. Or if they communicate or make something clear one time, they won't have to do it again. But um, I guess there's an insecurity about being seen. Not being seen. There's an insecurity about being heard.
Okay, any more information, Spirit, before I waste my time? <laughs> is there anything else? This video is five minutes long, and I'm, like, over it. You know how you could just tell something's not going nowhere? Maybe this is how you felt with some people of the past. Um... Oh, okay. So this this person could feel this way about karmics. That they're trying to leave to come to you. They're trying to make, sh like, um, have them understand the message or get a message across that they're done or that they want to cut ties before they come to you. They don't want to come to you um, and give someone else the opportunity to try to say, oh, well, they're still with me. Or, you know, whatever the case is, this person's like, no, we're not. This is what it is. Or this is only um, three of pentacles, the sun and the nine of wands. This is only about the family or only about the child or. This could be two people that dated and they work together. Yeah, contracts. So it's kind of like, uh. Because they're like, okay, we just work together. That's it. This kind of reminds me of Mars Day. It's like maybe someone's trying to attach themselves to your person. I feel like, I feel like they don't want to be attached to them. I want to get your name tattooed. I, I wonder if that's what somebody did. Yeah. I Okay, I just feel like there's a karmic that's like, okay. Cause yeah, I'm seeing the nine of uh, pentacles literally it's like a tattoo, like he has a little thing or who who you dating? This <laughs> a lot of people have this name, this person tattooed or something, or just this one person. They felt like I don't know. They um somebody's fantasy world like isn't what it what they thought it was. This also could be a one of those like boy moms parents that like they're I don't know they thought that yeah like my son is my love and like he'll always need me and I'm gonna forever be his main girl and his wife and all that like crazy weak stuff like someone's reality is kind of like broken from that or this is like someone who's like um I gave you your first son and I got your name tatted and we've been together for 12 years. You're really going to leave me for somebody that you knew for six months. And it's like, yeah. What did you think that all that meant? I mean, if you do all that, ain't nothing wrong with it. Shoot, ain't nothing wrong with that. But to think that that means something and maybe honestly, I ain't going to lie. I feel like maybe you, I feel like you come to this person's, this person's life and you give them a different perspective about life itself about spirituality and you kind of um you inspire them to want more for themselves and um and they do and they they uh, desire a deeper connection something that's not so earthly something that is um spiritual something that's really genuine and something that they actually can see going somewhere i feel like a karmic has not changed much like nothing's really they're the same person or maybe they're older, but they act like a, um, they're just immature or their way of thinking is immature. I guess I'm glad I didn't stop the reading. Sorry for anybody that closed out in the first five minutes, but, um, cause the energy is just like blah. Like that's how somebody feels around like a karma. They just feel like. Uh, bored, boring. It's like I'm 
I'm also getting someone just does not bring comfort. Hmm. Surprise car. Interesting. I, okay, so I just feel like someone that you're going to be dating, they do a lot for you. They're going to do a lot for you. They're going to, um, and you also have weight loss. You could be working on some things with yourself. Yeah, you have an ideal type. I feel like you're someone's like dream girl, dream guy, like dream person. And uh, let me tell you something. When somebody's manifesting something and maybe it takes a while, some years, months, weeks, whatever, the minute that it shows up in their life, the minute that like the A shows up in their life, they're going to get rid of everything. They're going to get rid of every page, everything that they need to. So it's something about you. It's evident. It's something about you that is um, significantly different than the rest. And it's, it is kind of causing a little bit of, again, so I feel like all this you don't know. There's like a little bit of bickering, arguing, whatever behind the scenes and I feel like this person is doing a good job of like protecting you protecting your um wow I feel like I was out of breath protecting you and protecting um your I almost want to say reputation because they view you maybe as someone that um I had I have to say it because it's not how I heard it I have to say it like that even though I a part of me wants to say everybody deserves to be protected but anyways, um, what I'm hearing is still like they feel like you're someone who deserves to be protected. Or like you're you're not really with that. You the the back and forth, the arguing about nothing, like they already know. Like maybe they're afraid, honestly, that that could draw you away from them. They don't want to bring too much baggage into your life. I don't feel like it would draw you away from them. Yes, yeah, because as long as these people, as long as this person isn't allowing these people to like directly come at you and stuff like that. Because when you're in a divine union, it's going to be some envy. It's going to be, um, you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's natural. But they're just making sure, they're kind of shielding you and just making sure that you're not getting the direct hits. So it's like somebody could even be placing blame. Like, um, on themselves someone could be like don't be mad at them be mad at me it's not about them they didn't do anything they're not swindling me they're not whatever well why only after a year only after this that you're willing to do that that bitch must be dead they're like no i feel like it, even if what it's um i feel like if somebody was to call you out your name this person would be heated like okay now you're taking it too far yeah, the King of Swords. They just unload the clip when they come to their mouth. They're like, all right, you're taking it too far. Watch your mouth. Yeah, so somebody get cussed out about you, like, period. Yeah, this page gets cussed out, like, and then blocked <laughs> or something. It's like I'm hearing the conversation. I wish I was in my head. It's like, yeah, this is the last time we doing this shit. Next time I come over here, like, da, 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 da. this only about the kids. Or this only about my son. I don't want to hear you say shit else about my person. Don't speak on them. Don't look at them. Yeah, a, a karmic is really handling the situation, though, really. Um, it's a really immature way. And then, like, the karmic is, like, um, they're trying to do a lot of comparing. They're like, well, so-and-so, the viewer, they do that. You think that I'm immature because I'm, um, Maybe this person does have a tendency to pop off or whatever, right? But I feel like you do too. So maybe they're like, oh, you think you're going to go get peace or whatever. They be popping off too or they'll pop off on you too. Or eventually, like, you're going to aggravate them or whatever. I feel like, okay, even if you do pop off or whatever, that's not the only energy about you. It's not 
you're not always in that energy. If you need to be, you'll shift in that energy. Or if it happens, it happens. But you have balance about you. Um, yeah, you have balance about you. So I'm hearing, um, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the strength card. What's that song? I don't know, but, but, um, what's that old school song? He's like, some like strong, like a lion, but as gentle as a blue, as a, as a blue bird. God damn me. Um, is it Life Jennings? Y'all know that. Everybody know this song. Like, come on. Everybody know this song. They know what I'm talking about. Um. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> must be nice. Because, see, somebody feels like you somebody they could grow old with. Oh, yeah. Mighty is a lion and as gentle as a blue bird. I feel like somebody else, maybe they're just a lion or just complete. Just They're just one way all the time. They don't really know how to shift gears. I'm also getting blue jays. You're seeing, yeah, blue jays are um, a bird that's definitely connected to the throat chakra. I mean, they're loud. They're they're blue, very vibrant, bright blue like the throat chakra, but, but also they're just like really loud. And you kind of can tame this person, but um, it's not coming from a place where you're like, I feel like the part you use to tame them is the blue bird and um, the other part's the lion. I just feel like you kind of know how to work this person uh, simply. That's just what it is. So I feel like this person, they are yours. I'll leave with this. I got to get up. Um, I'll leave with this. I said a while ago, I said like last year when I was out filming um, in the backyard, I was talking about how manipulation, it could be good or bad, but you know, I was like, manipulation is just to be able to change something, right? If my hair is curly and I straighten it, I just manipulated my hair, whatever it is. And I was saying how um, basically in so many words that if something is yours, then you will be able to manipulate it. But if it's not, if it's not yours, then you cannot manipulate it. Then it's coming from a place of like... um. Like you, you're, you've crossed your territory. I feel like you're able to get this person to, um, not manipulation in a bad way, but manipulation as in get them to change their mood. If they're mad, you make them calm or whatever the case may be. You're able to ma manipulate them in that way because they are yours. I feel like if they were not yours, you would not be able to like tame them. You would not be able to be the one to calm them down, to kind of help them, right? Or other people have tried to calm them down or get them to change their ways and they just won't budge or they they won't be manipulated in their way because that person never belonged to these people. I feel, like, I feel like this person feels like um they belong to you. And because of that, yeah, it's, um yeah. They kind of uh, allow themselves, I guess, to be changed because when something is yours you know how to you know how to manipulate it right i know what to do to my own hair to make it bone straight do i know to do what to do to your hair to make it straight viewer no i don't know your hair is not my hair i know how to do my hair I know how to manipulate my hair in the way that I want it to be. I don't know how to manipulate the hair on top of your head. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That, that ain't none of my business. It doesn't belong to me. So the hair font, the second house is Taurus energy. Um, Taurus says, I have. To have and to hold. This is also the card that represents marriage as well as the Ten of Cups. So you have something that everybody else wants, but 
does not belong to them themselves. People are, are maybe upset because something belongs to you. Shit, that dick, the pussy. So <laughs> something belongs to you. It's yours. So I'm going to leave it here, y'all. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully, I'm going to come home tonight and do a different video because the beginning of this video is still blah. I was like, oh my gosh, just like get on with it. But uh, yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Happy Mercury Day again. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.